Digital minimalism is about asking yourself, do I really need this app? This stuff I really need. It makes me happy. It reminds me of the people who write to me. Some of them are strangers. Half of them are strangers. Most of them are strangers. <laughs> but it makes me happy. So I don't mind having all these postcards up my wall. It's way past my bedtime. So I think to keep myself up and finish the rest of this video, I should go and get myself a nice cup of tea. Coffee is too violent. Tea. So my phone's on Google Calendar, right? My work computer is on Outlook and my personal computer uses Apple Calendar. I used to have this problem where the event that I was looking for or the registration code for this event I'm at is on the other calendar and I need to open up my email and try to sync that from I don't know where and pull it down and I don't remember the password and there's an easier way out. I'm going to send an email from my work email to my personal email. That's on Google. Fake invite for a fake meeting. I'm saying that it's in this spe specific room. So I have my phone over here. It's going to arrive any minute now. And this is what I want to share with you guys. Okay. So the email has arrived. And there. It has already arrived into my calendar with the room number. And before this thing turns cold. I'm still learning. So where this could be useful is if you have an event, let's say it's a movie or a football match or whatever, when you receive an email, it automatically goes into your calendar. When you have a meeting at 4 p.m., you just need to go to your calendar, hit that event which is at 4 p.m. And when you hit that entry right there, meeting at 4 p.m., it pulls out the entire email. So if there's a QR code attached and whatnot or a link that goes to something, it's all here. Now, everything that you receive into your Google Mail already goes to your Google Calendar. You don't do anything over there. But this minimalism thing, I bring it up because I have to catch up in this hate triangle. Actually, scratch that. There's a love triangle, actually. I don't think you learn about this unless you look it up or unless someone tells you. Here's me looking it up and telling you. <laughs> So to make this work, you need to start off with asking yourself, which is your most used device? For me, it's my phone. I use it all the time. It's in my pocket or in my bag or in my jacket, somewhere accessible. So that's my default calendar. If I had an iPhone, then it would be Apple Calendar. Because I'm having an Android phone, it's Google Calendar. On a Mac computer, first open calendar, command space and calendar. Then go to calendar preferences, then go to accounts and here you hit plus and then choose google calendar open safari enter your username password and that should do it and now when you have a new google calendar event it'll be synced to your mac computer if your phone's in your pocket like this and you have your computer open your mac open and you're working it'll remind you 10 or 15 minutes you can choose that as well the point of these videos is not to spoon feed you through everything i'm almost done with this I was strong towards the end. The point of these videos is not to spoon feed you guys through everything, but to show you that this is possible. Now with that love triangle, I've shown you just one of those examples, but I just want to tell you guys that it's possible. Just pull out your computer, Google it, figure it out for yourselves and live a digital minimalistic life. This video actually has less to do and nothing to do with digital minimalism and more to do with the integration between these different uh, software platforms, you know. But I've already shot this video. I don't want to do it again. And you guys now know what I'm talking about. You know the feature that I was trying to share. So let's get back to the end of the video. <laughs> That's been it for this one, folks. I'll see you next Wednesday. Enjoy your calendars and keep learning. This thing is a brebis. La brique de brebis. Oula!